Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Jules Street. I'm Jules. Today's video is super, super exciting because I have a Gucci unboxing for you all. This is something I've had my eye on for at least two years, and when I visited Heathrow Airport recently, I decided I would at least try them on, and once I did, that was it. I could no longer resist, especially with the price difference which I'll touch on later. Let's not waste any more time. Let me unbox this in all of its glory. I'm so, so happy and excited. I can't wait to show you. Okay, first of all, it came in this gorgeous winter paper bag that I feel like I should actually like cut out or frame or something as art. Maybe I will. Anyways, let me take this out of the bag. You can tell how excited I am about this because I literally matched my nails to the box. <laughs> so I'm very excited. All right, let me open the box. I love the tissue paper design on this. Ta-da! Just kidding. <laughs> these are just a dust bag. As you can see, these are a pair of shoes. See, these are the booklets that they came with. show you what I got. This is the super stylish Gucci Leather Luxole Horse Bit Loafer. And let me get the other one out of the bag so I can show both of them and give you a couple of close-ups before I start talking about it. Here's the other pair. Let me take all of this stuff off so you can see exactly what these look like oh my god so pretty do you see these do you see this pattern it's so beautiful ah. oh they really packed this in so well <laughs> the sales associate was so nice she even gave me a bunch of extra dust bags that you saw in the beginning. Here, let me... Let me take this, this thing off as well. As well as this thing off. Here is the side profile of the shoe. You can see that it's a nice and chunky sole. That's exactly what I wanted. And then the gorgeous gorgeous bronze horse bit detail on the top as well as the beautiful embroidered bee let me show you both of them here are the two bees and their beautiful gold embroidery at the heel right here they're so so beautiful and look at how chunky this Luxol is. I just love how chunky this is. And that's one of the re main reasons that I purchased this shoe. They're so pretty. And then look at the inside of this shoe. How gorgeous is that? It's so, so beautiful. And then I don't know if you can see, but on the inside, there's this, it's a whole, the pattern doesn't continue all the way. And it says, made in Italy on the inside and here's the sole of the shoe this is what it looks like it has the Gucci logo right here and then I got this in a size 38 absolutely stunning and as you can see it's got unfinished edges and the leather is really really stiff and the shoe is quite heavy but overall, I really love this horse bit detail that you can see here. Let me give you some backstory on why I purchased this particular pair of shoes. And I'm going to go over the comfort, the sizing, and the price. And I'm going to also do a little try on as well so that you can see how I'm going to wear them. So backstory. Back when the loafer trend was all the rage, I was super into the idea and the style of it, and I really liked how it looked on a lot of people. But at that time of my life, I, I think it was like two or three years ago, 
I didn't have the time, I didn't have the energy, and I don't think I had the budget either to kind of bring that to life for myself. And I'm very particular about certain things, especially shoes. I had a lot of criteria and requirements if I was gonna get a pair of loafers, and I also wanted them to be on a budget. So I wanted them to be all leather, I wanted to have a lug sole, I wanted a gold detail on the front that was special. There's At the time, I think there was super chunky pieces on the front of certain loafers that were sold at like DSW or you know at other budget locations and things like that. I didn't want something that was like super distracting on the front. I wanted something that was classic and unique detail that wasn't too flashy. So that's a lot of requirements to have for a shoe. I know that, I do, and I wanted it on a budget. Needless to say, it was super unrealistic and super unreasonable of me. And quite frankly, nothing that I had looked at at the time that even remotely fit at least one of the criteria, I didn't like anything. I didn't like anything that I tried on. I didn't like anything that I saw online that was in the budget that I was looking for at the time. And I did a bit of research and I knew that the Gucci loafers, especially this particular model, because I know they have a bunch of like the flatter models, I knew that this Gucci one fit my criteria perfectly. It has the super chunky sole that's not overbearingly chunky, but is still a platform. It has the horse bit detail that is classic, not super flashy. It also doesn't say Gucci on the shoe, which was important to me and it has this gorgeous bead detail which is so beautiful and it just adds an extra special something as well as the fact that it's all leather and or i mean the top part at least is all leather and there's this gorgeous detailing on the inside of the shoe as well i knew that gucci fit my criteria perfectly the only thing that didn't fit my criteria was of course the price the Prada ones were also on my radar, but one model had like too chunky of a sole and the other one wasn't chunky enough, which is pretty funny I thought. And I honestly wasn't a fan of like the, the triangle, the classic Prada triangle logo. I really didn't want this to have a very obvious logo on them. And another obstacle, I had a lot of obstacles to buying a pair of loafers, which is super funny because it's just, it's just a pair of loafer shoes. It's really, it's really absurd of me, I know. Another obstacle is that I'm pretty wary of designer shoes. The value of designer shoes drop immediately as soon as you wear them. Quite frankly, I don't think that designer shoes are the best investment. I don't think they're the best place to spend your, uh, the best item to spend your money on. I frankly don't have that many designer shoes. I have like one or two pairs. That was one of the things that was stopping me from purchasing these. It's just, they fit my criteria so, so well. Ultimately, after the second or third year of still wanting these shoes, I decided that if I liked them in person, I tried them on, they fit right, I would just purchase them because they fit my unrealistic criteria. And guess what? I did. The price was also right, which I'll talk about later after I talk about comfort. So right off the bat, when I tried these on, I noticed that these shoes are heavy, but I personally like that way. I like when a shoe that is covering my entire foot and that has a big sole is heavy. Um, I think I find that that works pretty well in kind of in colder climates and I live in a pretty colder climate in the winter. The leather on this is like I mentioned earlier is quite stiff so I already know that it'll take some time to wear them in or break them in but I knew that going into this so I'm I'm ready and I'm committed to work with these shoes so that I don't end up with blisters because blisters are not fun. I can tell you from experience. So I'll be very careful when I start wearing these shoes, but I'm committed and I know that the process is gonna take some time and some patience. So let's talk about size. These are a size 38. I am normally a size eight US. I used to like range between eight and eight and a half. And then I realized that Size eight really just fit me a lot better. I don't know if this is a British 38 or a European 38. 
I'm honestly not sure if there's how much of a difference there is, but I was really glad to be able to try these on in the store because I tried 37, a 38, and a 39. The 38 fit me the best. When I tried on the 37, I could not even get my foot in. And that's kind of something to consider about this shoe. It is a little bit difficult to get your foot into the shoe because it's so stiff of a leather. And I naturally have pretty narrow feet. So I definitely, unless they come in a wide version, I don't recommend these if you have wide feet. And I definitely highly recommend trying these on in person so that you make sure that you get the right size. Now let's talk about price. These retail for $1,100, I believe, and that is before tax in the US. And I purchased these for around $972. I paid in British pounds, so that is the conversion at the time that I purchased it. So I got them at a bit of a discount and that's why I purchased them because A, I couldn't resist, it fit all my criteria and the price was right. So I just had to get them and I'm so, so glad that I did. I am so, so excited to style these up in so many different ways. I feel like they lend to a bit more of like an academic look, a little bit of light or dark academia. I, I, I'm gonna have so much fun with these. I'm gonna make sure to update you on how this wears with me, especially the break-in process because I know it's gonna be a bit of a journey but all in all I'm pretty hopeful that this shoe is going to last a long time now I told you earlier that I don't think designer shoes are the best investment or the best use of your money and I still believe that but if there is a shoe or something that you really really want and and you have the funds actually I want to say that anything can be worth it if it's worth it to you that's what matters the most and to me these were worth it. Thank you so much for watching this unboxing with me. I'm so excited to be able to share these with you. These are such a beautiful pair of shoes that I'm so excited to wear. And I really hope that you found this video informative, especially if you were considering a shoe like this. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I would love if you could like or subscribe. It'll really help my channel grow this year. And of course, as always, if you have any questions or comments at all, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer. Bye!